अंगम हरे है पुलक भूषण आश्रयंती भृंगांग नेव मुकुला भरणम तमालम दिस इज दि फर्स्ट वर्ड्स फ्रॉम द कनकधारा स्त्रोत्रम कंपोज्ड बाय आदि शंकराचार्य व्हेन ही वाज अ वेरी स्मॉल बॉय टुडे वी विल सी द स्टोरी ऑफ हाउ द कनकधारा स्त्रोत्रम केम टू बी कंपोज्ड बाय आदि शंकर नमस्कार मैम एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू जस्टी नीबू दिस इज श्रीरेखा आदि शंकर वाज बोर्न इन कालडी टू शिवगुरु एंड आर्यांबा ही वाज बोर्न आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग टाइम it is said that aryamba actually got lord shiva in her dreams who said that he is going to be born as their child shankara is actually considered as an incarnation of lord shiva himself his father passed away at a very young age and it was down to aryamba to play a pivotal role in the studies of adi shankara from a young age adi shankara wanted to be a monk a sanyasi and to get his mother's permission he actually went to a river there by some divine intervention a crocodile caught his feet and he shouted at his mother unless she gives him permission to become a sanyasi the crocodile won't leave him so aryamba under stress gives him permission and at that moment the crocodile disappears leaves him and goes so this is how adi shankara gets into the sanyasa diksha then he travels a long distance to get to his guru govinda bhagavata padacharya when he was in gurukul it is a common practice in gurukul that all the shishyas of the guru have to go into the town and get bhiksha when you do bhiksha ratana it is said that you reduce your ego and you become more humble you get humility so this was the reason all the shishyas in olden days were asked to go for bhiksha ratana so for arms begging when they visit different places they utter bhavati bhikshan dehi thrice in case the person of that house is not available they move on to the next house so one day adi shankara visited a house which was in a very poor condition there he called out bhavati bhikshan dehi an old woman who was extremely poor came out and she didn't have anything to give shankara but she wanted to give him something because he was a young brahmachari and uh, it was not right turn away a young brahmachari without giving any bhiksha so she was searching in her house for some grain some rice but she couldn't find anything it being dwadashi on every ekadashi people fast on dwadashi they break their fast with the help of an amla a gooseberry so she finds a gooseberry on one of her shelves which is very shriveled which is not fresh it is very shriveled she kept it for herself to break her fast but seeing the brahmachari she picks out that gooseberry and gives it to shankara with you know with sadness that she is not able to give more with tears in her eyes seeing the selflessness of that old lady that she has given her own food to him adi shankara on the spot composes the kanakadhara stotram so here he requests he pleads with mata lakshmi mahalakshmi to give this old lady money so that she can be happy in her life so he composed this shloka not for himself but for the betterment of another person so mahalakshmi was extremely pleased and she rains golden gooseberries on that house so that is why it is kanaka dhara kanaka is gold dhara is like rain so kanaka dhara of golden gooseberries happens on that women's house and she is extremely surprised seeing that they are golden gooseberries so from that day onwards her problems are solved it seems very recently that house was acquired from their old owners and a mahalakshmi temple has been constructed in kaladi so whenever you visit and you must as a hindu you must visit kaladi i have visited twice you must visit kaladi and see for yourself the great house which has been converted into the temple of mahalakshmi so i can vouch for the greatness of this kanaka dhara stotram from my personal experience so if you have any troubles with money or any other problems if you do this kanaka dhara stotram very regularly with good heart with purity and all you will be blessed by mahalakshmi herself adi shankara is one of the greatest philosophers bharat as well as the world has ever seen he has established the philosophy of advaita vedanta there were many people who were great philosophers before his time but when he debated with those people they accepted the intelligence the greatness of adi shankara and many of them became his disciples like mandana mishra he debated with many philosophies of that time 
he is composed so many stotras granthas bhashyas in a very short span of 32 years he has written the bhashyas for upanishads brahma sutras bhagavad gita he debated with vedavyasa himself who extended his life for 16 more years he is composed so many granthas he is also written a bhashyam on his own shishya hastamalakacharya that grantha is called hastamalakiyam hastamalakacharya is the first pitadipati of dwarka peet he was established as the first pitadipati by adi shankara himself of dwarka peet he is composed kanakadhara stotram he is composed manisha panchakam bhajagovindam nirvana shatakam guru padaka stotram meenakshi pancharatnam ganesha pancharatnam take any god he is written a stotram on that god he is considered as shanmath sthapanacharya what are the shanmathas they are shaiva vaishnava shakte saurya kaumara ganapatya during that time there were warring factions between the people of sanatan dharma itself let alone other religions so he united all of them under one philosophy of advaita vedanta he said that all these devatas are the same everybody is the parabrahman but showing us in different forms he has written stotras on shiva vishnu shakti saurya which is surya kaumara which is kumara swami and ganapatya ganapati he is unified everybody he said shivaya vishnu roopaya vishnu roopaya shivaya shivasya hrudayam vishnu vishnusya hrudayam shivah that means shiva is vishnu vishnu is shiva in shiva's heart there is vishnu in vishnu's heart there is shiva so there is no difference between shiva and vishnu so that is why he is called as shanmata sthapanacharya adi shankara is one of the greatest philosophers the world has ever seen so this is how he composed kanakadhara stotram and so many other stotrams in a very short span of life which is 32 years that is the greatness of adi shankara we have covered a debate of mandana mishra with adi shankara you can check out those videos i have done some more videos on uh, how he was saved by narsimha himself and few more videos please go ahead and check it out if you like the videos that i am doing please show some appreciation by clicking on the like subscribe buttons and also super thanks has been enabled for my channel so you can show your love by you know giving me super thanks as well the question of the day is in which places has adi shankara established the four mathas do let me know and the rishi of the week is gargam harshi so tell me who this great rishi is so follow me on all the social media handles like subscribe and share my videos i'll see you all in the next video namaskar